When I first came to Sweden three years ago, I had no idea I would buy a house here and call it home. I'm going to share the story of how I bought this house, how I found it, and some resources that can help you find a cheap house in Sweden. And I'm going to show you why I moved here in the first place. Can you hear that? I just heard my first cuckoo. Spring comes later in northern Sweden and finally in June we have leaves, blossom and wildflowers. So I first came to Sweden three years ago and I spent six, maybe seven months here and I just fell in love with the nature, the place, the squirrels. And originally I came here to photograph golden eagles with a photographer, he rents out hides, Connie Lundstrom. And his brother actually got me in contact with the owner of this house. At the time I messaged him being like, do you know if there are any houses available in the same village? And he gave me a couple of options. One of the options was this one. At the time it wasn't actually for sale. It was for sale the previous summer but something fell through so Magnus got me in contact with the owner of this house and I communicated with her on Facebook. I'd never even seen the house in person but from photos and videos I was convinced that I liked this house and in the end I paid for this house over the internet without seeing it. We created a simple contract ourselves and a private sale like this means that myself and the seller don't lose money to an estate agent, but there is more risk. If it wasn't a friend of a friend, I may not have gone down this route. I literally can't believe what we saw. We were driving home after swimming and I saw a moose in the middle of the road and I was quite surprised with how she was behaving because she didn't want to run and then we saw this tiny newborn calf and I think that's quite rare but it was amazing to get some photos like the size difference between the mother and the baby is just crazy. We might see some more moose so we'll just keep driving home and we're about halfway, so let's see. I think it's pretty obvious why I moved here. I came for the nature and I stayed for the nature.
we're on a bit of a moose safari and we've just seen two young males. I was amazed at how relaxed they were. As soon as we saw them, they ran, but then they calmed down and then they started eating uh, the young tree sucklings because all the trees have really young leaves. And yeah, I got so much footage of them and it was really nice. One reason I really wanted to move here is the amazing forests around our house. I'd already spent six months in the area before buying the house, so I knew the forest already. This afternoon I've come to the squirrel forest and I'm going to set up this camera, which is the Netview Birdfly camera, and how it works is that you fill it up with sunflower seeds or other seeds and birds and squirrels will basically feed from it and you get a notification directly to your phone and you can easily monitor the wildlife in your garden. I've got a couple of exciting projects and I'm going to set it up just to see what's going on in the squirrel forest but you can easily have it in your garden and connect it to your Wi-Fi and then you can get lots of notifications about the wildlife visiting your garden. This winter we used it to monitor squirrels and the deer. We'll see what we find in the squirrel forest but it's probably going to be squirrels. A couple of days later I checked the camera and of course we had lots of red squirrel activity. It was so nice to get lots of different squirrels, a lactating female, we had Digit with the broken finger. It was also lovely to get some audio recordings, a chaffinch, and even some squirrel squeaks. I'm sure with time other species will find the feeding station, but what was really interesting was seeing these magpies. Look at what's going on in the background. So again and again, a bird of prey was mobbing the magpies. And looking at the footage, I'm pretty sure it's a male kestrel. So he's probably got a nest nearby and he's just mobbing the magpies because they could predate on the chicks or the eggs. So already in two days, I've seen some fascinating stuff. If you're interested in watching the wildlife in your garden, check out the Netview Birdfly camera, it will be linked in the description. One of the reasons for why I bought this house was actually the cost, and it might surprise you how much I actually paid. I ended up paying £27,000 for it, and compared to England and the UK, getting a house that cheap just wouldn't happen. For me, it was kind of perfect to buy a house here. It could allow me to continue doing my photography and have a whole house for myself. We've just got back from swimming and I'm going to make dinner. We're having ceviche, vegano, um, or ceviche, which is like a fish salad and you eat it with tortillas. It's usually raw fish but I'm using this, which is a vegan salmon by Hooked. And the first time I tried it, I had to check the package because I didn't believe it was vegan, but it is. It tastes and smells really good. The texture is, yeah, it's the only vegan fish that actually tastes like fish, in my opinion. So let's cook.
One aspect I didn't expect moving to Northern Sweden is how creative I'd become. I came here to do wildlife photography, but now I make videos and short documentaries. I love cooking and making up recipes, but sometimes it doesn't always go right. We've come to the lake and all the ice and snow has melted so there's finally water and we're going canoeing for the first time this year. This lake is literally five minutes from the house. We really take it for granted. And I hope this summer we can get on the canoe more often and when it's warmer, I really want to swim, but I'll probably be a bit freaked out. just arriving to the Osprey Island and so far I haven't heard or seen anything so I'm not actually sure it's here. Maybe it chose a different nest. I hope you enjoyed the drone footage because we almost lost it and I had to emergency land it in some bushes but it's fine. <laughs> I think I can see something. So you know the island on the left? The middle tree has an open bit? That's the nest. And I think there's a bird sitting on the right. Yeah, there we go. See? She just flew off. Wow. Yeah, she's just landed back on the nest. So cool. I'm thinking one day I can come on the canoe on my own with a camo netting and just try and get some photos, but... What was that? What? That was epic! Almost like a comet or something. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I want to come back on the canoe with a camo netting over me so it won't really see me and try and get some photos. I'm going to share some resources in the description for how you can find a house in northern Sweden. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Something very exciting has happened and you'll find out soon. Bye!